In this video, I'm comparing all the different features and amenities of the highest rated adult only all inclusive resorts in Cabo so that you can choose the best one for your vacation. First, we have the Rio Palace, Baja, California. This is the best budget choice and top choice for young adults or young adults at heart. This is also the lowest price adults only resort you'll find in Cabo. While this is one of the more affordable options, to some, it might feel a little kitschy or cheap. To give you an idea of what to expect from this resort, if you're familiar with cruises, Rio Palace can probably be best described as the carnival cruise line of all-inclusive resorts. However, it is a newer resort compared to the other Rio properties, so everything has a nice modern and contemporary feel. That goes for the rooms too. They feel a little more modern, quite the upgrade from some of the other dated Ryu properties in Cabo. As far as amenities go, the beach is nice, but not always swimmable. It really depends on the time of year and the weather. There are four pools, two of which have swim-up bars, and jacuzzis and hot tubs to use. You also get free use of the water slides next door, as well as the amenities at the other three Ryu properties. The Ryu Palace is located in a lively spot along Medano Beach and not far from downtown Cabo San Lucas. You could walk there on the beach in about 15 minutes or just take a quick five minute taxi ride into town. The biggest complaint about this resort is the food. It's edible, but it's not gonna wow you by any means. It's mostly because it's a lot of the same bland food being served. So if you do choose this resort, plan to eat a few meals out in town and your experience will be a lot better. Overall, this resort is a really good middle of the road option. You can enjoy a more luxurious stay at this resort, but if you feel the need to party like you're on spring break, you can head next door to the Rio Santa Fe and take in all the wild foam pool parties. Next is Marquis Los Cabos. This is my top choice for a relaxing vacation in Cabo. There's no timeshare set up here, so you won't be bombarded with sales pitches. Honestly, this is a really nice perk because there aren't many hotels like this in Cabo. Marquis is also a smaller resort compared to others on this list, which makes it feel a little less crowded and you also shouldn't have an issue getting a lounger by the pool. However, this resort isn't really near anything, so if you just want to park it by the pool for five days, that won't be a problem. But if you like to get out and explore, it might be a little inconvenient. But because this resort is a little on the smaller and more intimate side, the service here is always great. Two out of the three infinity pools are heated. The beach, however, is not swimmable, but the views are phenomenal. And it is the perfect beach for nice long walks. As far as activities go, you can basically do as much or as little as you want. There's always something going on like Zumba, beach volleyball, and other activities, but you're never pressured to participate. There's even some brand new pickleball courts. There's nightly entertainment with a few theme nights throughout the week, and sometimes there's live music, but it's not really an outrageous party vibe here. The food is way above your average all-inclusive resort offering. There's lots of variety as all six restaurants have different themes. The location is what a lot of people love about this resort. It's only 15 to 20 minutes in either direction to get to either city. Overall, I recommend this resort for couples or travelers who want a five-star experience, but don't really wanna shell out the money for the more expensive, higher-priced hotels. A comparable choice to the marquee is the Pueblo Bonito Pacifica. It's a luxury resort without all the pretentious vibes. It's got a laid-back feel to it with a tranquil ambience at a slightly lower price point. This resort offers oceanfront accommodations with each room boasting its own private balcony. One of the best parts about staying here though is that you'll have access to the three other sister resorts, including a free shuttle to get there. So you can try four resorts for the price of one. Some of the other standout amenities here are the award-winning spa, and there are multiple pools with stunning views of the Pacific Ocean, including one pool with a swim-up bar. And if you book the all-inclusive package, you can usually find a special that includes green fees for the Quivera Golf Club, which was voted one of the best golf courses in Mexico. Benito Pacifica is located on the Pacific tip of the Baja Peninsula, so not only will you have unobstructed views of the Cabo Arch and incredible sunsets, you're really only a few minutes from downtown Cabo San Lucas. It's also located on a secluded part of the beach, meaning lots of privacy and no beach vendors. This resort doesn't have much for nightlife though, so if you prefer quiet and low-key evenings, this would be a really good option. Overall, I recommend this resort for couples looking for a golf and a spa getaway, and travelers who want lots of options when it comes to pools and food. Next up is Paradisas Los Cabos, which officially becomes an adult-only all-inclusive resort effective January 2024. It's a very quiet and chill resort, and I love that it's a bit smaller compared to others on this list. It's also one of the few on this list that has swim-up rooms. 
The other rooms are getting a little dated, but I think the price point reflects that. There are four pools, including a huge swim-up bar. And for dining, there are seven restaurants to choose from, including one that's run by a Michelin star chef. However, the snack options between meals are definitely a little lacking. The beach directly in front of the resort is usually swimmable. But if it's looking a little rough, just walk to the beach next door in front of the Hilton, which is calm and swimmable. It's located halfway between Cabo San Lucas and San Jose del Cabo, so it's perfect if you want to visit both areas, which I highly recommend. An interesting feature that I love at this hotel is that they have a baby turtle hatching program here. So if you're visiting between June and December, you might get the chance to participate in helping release baby sea turtles on the beach. Overall, I think this resort is a really good choice for relaxing with incredible views of the ocean. If you prefer a smaller resort and not something overwhelming, you're gonna love this spot. Moving on to Breathless. This is one of my top choices if you're visiting Cabo San Lucas for the first time or if you want a lively, active resort. There's DJ pool parties and live music in the evenings. You've got two pools to choose from. There's a party pool that overlooks the beach and a quiet pool that overlooks the marina. There's no swim up bar here, but the bartenders are really good at taking drink orders and bringing them to you. You can upgrade to the Exhale Club for top shelf liquor and access to a private lounge. If money is no option, I would say go for it. Otherwise, it's not really worth it. The biggest thing Breathless has going for it is its location. If you like walking and exploring and want to experience all that Cabo San Lucas has to offer, Breathless is your best option. You overlook the beginning of Medano Beach, which is great for swimming and is host to all the fun beach bars and day clubs. You also overlook the marina, so if you want to do any excursions like whale watching, snorkeling, booze cruises, you're literally steps away from all the departure points. And if you want to check out the nightclubs, local restaurants, shopping, walking taco tours, everything is within a few minutes walking distance. I do love that all the rooms have a perfect view of the marina, so it's really fun to watch the boats come and go all day long. Overall, I would say Breathless is best suited for people between the ages of 25 and 45, and it's really better for short stays, maybe three to four nights. It would definitely be great if you're coming here to celebrate a birthday or a bachelor or a bachelorette party. Next, we have Secrets Los Cabos. This is the best best choice for a low-key getaway in Cabo, somewhere quiet and a little secluded. While there's enough daytime activities without the heart-pounding poolside music, there's not a whole lot for evening entertainment. So that means it is pretty quiet at night. That could be good or bad depending what kind of vibe you want. What I like about this resort is it has swim-out rooms, a swim-up pool bar, a hot tub that overlooks the golf course, 24-hour room service, free guided bicycle tours, and there's a nine-hole Jack Nicholas golf course on site. As far as location, Secrets is the closest adults-only all-inclusive resort to the airport. It is located in a more secluded area of Los Cabos, so it's great for long walks on the beach without being bothered by other tourists or beach vendors, but you will be about a 40-minute drive away from downtown Cabo San Lucas. A couple other noteworthy things about this resort. You don't have to wear a wristband during your stay. It's part of the World of Hyatt Points program. You don't need to make any reservations to eat at the restaurants. And there are lots of outdoor dining options, which means men can wear shorts to dinner. If you're looking for a vacation to just relax at a resort that has enough amenities that you don't need to leave for a few days, this is definitely a good choice for you. Finally, we end with the number one choice. If you can afford the price tag, LeBlanc Spa Resort is hands down the best adults-only all-inclusive resort in Cabo San Lucas. And I have a little tip that I'll share in a minute about how you can save 30% off your stay. Here at LeBlanc, you can expect everything to be ultra luxe fine dining, top shelf alcohol and cocktails, and luxurious accommodations. If you plan to visit a spa on your vacation, the day spa at LeBlanc is the best in Cabo. Your stay includes a personal butler who will do everything from unpacking your luggage, ironing your clothes before a dinner, and even drawing a bubble bath for you. And there's also other little touches like coffee and pastries that are delivered to your room every morning. Every room has an ocean view. Just make sure you're on floor three or higher though. You also have the option to have personalized aromatherapy for your room for an ultra relaxing atmosphere. There are four pools and a swim up bar and two massive hot tubs. The food here is top tier. You will not find better food anywhere else. So if you're looking for a high end luxurious retreat or maybe you're celebrating a special anniversary and wanna be treated like royalty, definitely look into staying here. So I have a little inside tip for you. If you wanna book a stay here, you can book through a member and they can save you about 30% off your stay. Memberships for LeBlanc Resorts are not quite considered timeshares, but they're referred to as right to use memberships. And one of the perks that comes with that is that members can 
can offer referral pricing. And the great thing is you don't have to be traveling with them to get this pricing. So to find a member, you can join some Facebook groups and then contact a member through there. So I'll leave a link to the group that I use in the video description. This isn't sponsored or anything. I just want you guys to know how you can get the best deal to stay here. Something else to know about Cabo is that most of the beaches in the area are not swimmable. So if it's not a true vacation, unless you get to take a dip in the ocean, watch this video next, which covers the best resorts and hotels in Cabo with swimmable beaches. I have a few other Cabo videos on my channel and tons of blog posts on my website for you to check out if you're planning a trip soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.